On one side of this road, enormous fuel storage tanks. On the other, a former migrant hostel offering dozens of residents affordable long-term housing at a time of need. I can't afford to buy an expensive place, so I managed to do it and to move here. Some own, others rent. All were distraught when the council ordered them to urgently leave last May, saying it had become aware they were living unlawfully in the industrial zoned area and the risk from the mobile tanks was too great. We tried to hide it from the kids for as long as we could, but obviously we can't anymore. It's always on their mind. Are we going to lose our home? Now, Freedom of Information documents have revealed a campaign put in motion from November 2022 labelled Operation Pegasus. It shows the council knew some of the 88 properties had been inhabited for more than 15 years, raising the question of whether residents were entitled to existing use rights. It flags a change in approach. The, the council could have invited us all to make applications to um, affirm our existing use rights. That would have solved their zoning problem. Other documents suggest Mobile asked the council to enforce its planning obligations in 2018. Residents say that contradicts earlier suggestions. The council only recently learned people were living there. They're saying to the public, it's urgent. How urgent can it be? The council said its eviction notices only went out after it completed an investigation into suspected residential use at the estate. Residents have since been granted two six-month grace periods. They've been ordered to leave by May. Mobile says it contacted the council in 2018 to check its safety obligations were being met. Those who remain are desperately hoping for leeway. They will not consider any solution that involves us staying here. It seems a terrible outcome that we would then have a, a precinct of vacant housing in a housing crisis. The residents are urging the council to apply for a zoning change. Jessie Thompson, ABC News.